Oh, I'm so sorry. I just don't feel like it did that much. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's clip it's more than just like exciting because besides the fact that you've probably seen my thumbnail, I'm gonna test out today something that you, you still can't find in the UK and I did not see any other places having it except Germany. However, I managed to put my hands on it because I have a friend who lives in Germany and we like one of my friends met with this person and yeah there was like a moment where i was like bring that stuff to me so besides the fact that i'm gonna actually test out with you today the glue glued for brows got to be glued for brows bed um i also am filming on a different totally different camera i finally have a viewfinder i can see myself there which is it changes the game right so coming back to the actual subject of today's video we are testing out the stronghold brow gel we've been waiting for this and i remember specifically myself i was like why they're not bringing something especially made for the brows just because the actual huge tube of the spiking glue kind of like sort of gel for the hair is just a bit annoying that you don't have a spoolie the bigger version is too big and i know for a fact you can't find the travel sized size anywhere um i'm pretty sure in romania i never seen it correct me if i'm wrong but in the uk you can find it so but still you need to spoolie and it's not clear uh sometimes i need to be careful to clear clean it around the edges over here so yeah it's not extremely practical but it's so so good and yeah let's see if this is actually much better and if it's worth you know paying for it because i'm pretty sure it was like five euro six around that price which is not too bad but obviously if you'll get a, a huge tube of this it sounds much cheaper but maybe it's worth it not only because it has a spoolie but it seemed uh transparent on the internet so let's jump into it because i know you are just like shut up and test it out now <laughs> applicator is very interesting it's somehow like i don't know if you can see but it's somehow like longer on one side and like smaller on this side, which is quite interesting. It actually smells like got to be glued, like the actual gel. Let me just refresh my mind a bit, but I'm pretty sure it smells the same. Yeah, it smells the same. I feel this one smells a bit like fresher, this one in the tube. But it smells the same really, so they are keeping the actual, you know, same. Oh, I touched my nose. <laughs> they keep the actual same drill, which is... Yeah, I really love the smell of it, to be completely honest with you. But yeah, let's start. It definitely seems like it's transparent, like a gel, like a transparent gel. Uh, the brush is actually really, really well coated and you can't see anything. I'm so sorry if I tend to look that way, but for me, it's... Yeah, it's something that never happened. I'm able to finally see myself if I'm focused and what I'm actually showing to you. So that's really... I'm excited, excited today, literally. <laughs> Let's actually, oh my God, this is exciting. You're actually gonna see the whole drill. Let's try it out, cause yeah. I wanna see if it's gonna be the same. Obviously everybody wants to see if it's the same as the actual gel, but like better, like the hair gel. Right, this is the first thing for me, like a, a new thing for me to do it in my viewfinder. So I'm gonna try to actually look now into my mirror. So something I was really curious if it's actually melting the foundation, as you can see, it did that. So that's something that also the actual hair gel does. So it's not different on that note. I personally prefer doing my brows first anyway. Right, so now I'm gonna stop touching it and I'll see how long does it take to actually set. It looks really nice in terms of like, you know, shaping it and stuff. Obviously, like, I, I don't know, I wasn't expecting not working out, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I like the brush, it's quite tiny, so you can be careful about it, but personally, like I said, I've always preferred doing my brows beforehand i just feel it's easier right so i'm still waiting for it to dry it kind of takes a long time i feel to dry right so i feel the actual spooling from the product puts way too much product so i feel you still need 
an extra spoolie to kind of like smooth out the product in between because I feel it was taking forever to set. I feel it doesn't necessarily stick them to a point where it's the same amount of glued situation in terms of like comparing it to the actual hair gel I feel the hair gel has a much thicker consistency and it allows it to make them not necessarily fluffier but like more stick to your head while this one I feel it's more on the natural side and I don't feel it did like I mean it, it did give really nice shape but I don't think they are as fluffy hmm you know what I'm gonna do? I think it's fair. It's a fair shot to actually get this, put it on one brow, and compare it to the other. Cause I know I did my makeup first, and I couldn't just go with a lot of product. But seriously, I don't think that's necessarily an impediment. Impediment? Is that a word in English? I don't think it's, it should necessarily be like um, a hassle. Like I don't think that is. I feel maybe the consistency of this brow gel is more like chilled down than the actual hair glue yeah let's go on maybe i'm so sorry if this video is gonna get longer than it should but i'm trying my best to actually give an honest review about it because seriously i did not see anybody talking about it like genuine review let's put it to the test compared to its sister so something that everybody does to not ruin their actual brushes is they take this kind of like disposable spoolies and yeah, you just get the product on. You probably know already the trend. If not, then I'm gonna demonstrate it to you. And literally this is what I do. I kind of like put a tiny bit like so. Right, so let's just do it this one. I just literally kind of go in. You see, it does leave like a white residue, which the actual brow thing, it does not. So I'm gonna go again with this guy. I just don't feel it did that much. I'm just gonna press more this time. Maybe I didn't put enough. It could be that. So basically, I did not put enough of the actual transparent guy. Yeah, it was maybe a bad move for me. It's just I want to look cute, okay? And I thought maybe it's a good idea to try it out like that. I feel, personally, rather stick to doing your brows first. You just can't be precise. You need to coat the bristles a lot because otherwise it's not going to give the same effect as this guy. However, it kind of looks the same. It's just... You won't need to mess around with the white cast and I feel this one is much easier and lightweight. I still feel like if you want to give a specific shape to the brow, you still need like an extra spoolie. I personally like to do that even with the hair gel. However, with the hair gel, it's much harder in, sen in the sense of like if you wait for too long and I'm, I mean with like a couple of seconds way too long, you just, it won't budge. It sets, like I feel it's setting, but this one is already set. Like I can already feel it is like, st like stuck there. Right, so I'm touching this one. It still feels a teeny tiny bit, like just not properly set. As you can see, this doesn't like move the way I want it to. While this one, as you can see like, it moves very easily. You see, like ta, ta. <laughs> yeah, see, this one moves much harder. So it seems like it's not exactly the same formula. I feel this is a much stronger hold, while this one it's a teeny tiny bit more lightweight. I'm not quite sure how to feel about it personally. I am not bothered but maybe I should test it out more because obviously this is a first impression so I'm not quite exactly sure what to say about it just because it feels like this is a more lightweight formula which it makes more sense like not everybody needs like a really strong hold I feel people who have a very thick 
with like hair bristle, they might not like it. Not as much. But if you have like very thin hair, seriously, it does the trick. And I feel it feels more comfortable onto the brow and it's more like manageable in terms of like shaping it and like putting it the way you want it to be put. With this one, I feel you can, you can take the time and arrange it and fill it in and maybe kind of like move it around. To be completely honest, I'm not quite sure if that's a positive or a negative from your perspective. From my perspective, it's not. Like I said, I feel this is much more lightweight. It doesn't feel like, you know, it just feels very... My brow feels really relaxed while this one feels a bit more like tight and I genuinely prefer it this way. This, I did not see how many milliliters it has. 60 mil and this has 50 mil. So it gets more into this, but like I said, this is much clearer and it doesn't leave like a kind of like film around your brow, not as hard as its sister. I feel with this guy, you really need to be like, you know, just like scrubbing and scrubbing and make sure you get it out. Because if you miss even the smallest bit, you see it. it's a mess. While with this one, it didn't do that much of a mess here. Like it was easy to rectify. As you can see, it doesn't look bad at all. I was able to rectify this one too, but it took me a minute or so. So yeah, it's just a bit more hustle with this guy. So to actually conclude, I like it, but I'm not quite sure if everybody's gonna like it because I feel the actual hair gel is famous for the fact that it really gives you hold, like genuine, you know, strong hold. And if you have a thicker kind of like bristle hair, I'm not quite sure if you're gonna enjoy it or if it's gonna hold to its sister, the, the hair gel. So yeah, it's kind of like probably, you know, it depends. I think it's worth giving a try. Um, it's not that expensive. Uh, obviously you get less in this guy rather than this guy, it's true. But I mean, it's not, it's not gonna make a hole in your bank account. I really do think you should try it out. But like I said, I'm gonna be honest. If you have a thicker bristle, you might be disappointed into it. I could be wrong. I mean, if that's your case and you're gonna try this one out, please let me know because I would love to see if I'm right or wrong. Obviously, that's me speaking from kind of like an imaginary standpoint because I don't have a thick hair, but that's how I feel about it. So, I really hope this video is not going to be too long or if it is, I hope it was by any means helpful, useful, and you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like it and maybe subscribe. Maybe you're gonna enjoy the rest of the clips I have. I upload every single week, at least a video, if not more. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you within the next one. Bye.